Welcome to Schoology for Students. For the best experience using Schoology, you should log in through the browser, like Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. This offers the easiest navigation and more access to the features built into the platform. The Schoology app is limited. When you go to lms.lausd.net, you will see this login page. Select the role that best fits you to log in. Since I am a teacher, I will log in as a teacher. The first thing you'll notice is the tabs at the top of the screen. You may have different tabs, but the tabs I will focus on are courses and groups. When you click on courses, you will see all of the current courses that you are enrolled in. If you select my courses on the right, you will be able to see courses you previously took. When you select groups, you will see all of the groups that you have joined. Going back to courses, let's learn how to navigate assignments, grades, updates, and apps. To navigate the features of each course, you will use the sidebar over here. Some of the options on the sidebar will change depending on the course you have selected. When you select materials, you will see assignments, links, and resources that your teacher has posted for you. Sometimes they will be organized into folders, Sometimes it will be a list. When you select updates, you will see updates about your class. Your teacher might post links that you will use for the week, reminders, or check-in questions. You may be able to comment and or post on any updates given by your teacher depending on the settings your teacher created. When you select grades, you will see assignments listed by category. For example, you will see homework, projects, and possibly quizzes. Each teacher uses different categories, so it may not be the same for every class. You can also see an overall grade for each category to reflect on your strengths and weaknesses as a student. At the very bottom, you will find your overall grade for the class. You will also see comments for your teachers from this grades view. However, there are multiple pathways for your teacher to make comments on your work. This is just one. From this screen, you can also view your submission and make sure that the work has been submitted and is waiting to be graded. If you see a white square that looks like a piece of paper, you know your work has been submitted. If you don't see a grade, it means your teacher has not graded it yet. Please be patient. Once your work is graded, you can view your submission to see if your teacher left feedback. There are two ways your teacher can leave feedback on your submission. Here on the right, and write on the document you submitted. When you select members from the sidebar on the left, you will see a list of students and teachers in the class. Since I am the only student in this class, you only see two names, the student and the teacher. You can select any student from the list of names and send them a message. You can also select your teacher's name and send them a message. Please remember this is an educational platform and teachers and administrators can view everything you write. Also, acceptable use policies will be enforced. At the bottom of the sidebar, you will see a list of apps that has been installed. This is the part of the sidebar that will be different for each class depending on what apps the teacher has chosen to use. Another useful tool is the calendar. You can see upcoming work for all your classes in one place. You can also change how you view this information. You can select week or month view. Make sure that you have the correct courses selected so you can view the upcoming due dates. You can click on the assignments and be redirected to the instructions and be able to submit. This brings us to the submission process. You can click on it through the calendar or you can click on materials and simply click right on your assignment. There are multiple ways your teacher may ask you to submit your work. You can upload short videos, files, pictures, and text documents. The first way we will talk about is submitting using the Create option. This is the easiest and most secure way to ensure that your teacher gets your work. You click Submit, then select the Create tab. You can type directly in the space, which also offers multiple word processing tools, including spell check, or you can copy and paste from a Google Doc, a Word Doc, or from wherever you choose to type your work. Then you click Submit and you're done. If you make a mistake and your, or your teacher wants you to make a revision, 
you can resubmit your work by pressing the button again. Your teacher will automatically see your most recent submission. You can also submit a file. For example, a picture, a video, a PDF, and more. You click Submit, then you click here to upload. Attach your file and be sure to wait for the upload to complete before you click Submit. Some teachers may assign work from their Google Drive. This will make a copy in your Google Drive. You will be directed to the following page. From there, you can view the instructions, and when you click on My Document, you will be able to complete the task and then submit. You can also record an audio or video file right through Schoology. You select Submit, then you select the microphone option, and you will be asked whether you want to record audio only or audio and video. After you complete your task, click Submit and you're done. You can also submit from your personal Google Drive. You click Resources, then Apps, and choose your Google Drive, and you will see a list of your docs. This method can be glitchy, and sometimes you may not see your doc. That's why it's better to copy and paste into the Create tab. Your teacher may also assign tests or quizzes for you to complete. You will be given a window of minutes, hours, or days to complete the task. You will see lots of information on this page. You can see how many times you attempted the test, you can see your past submissions, and the window of opportunity you have to complete the task. To begin the test, you click Start New Attempt. This concludes our introduction to Schoology for Students.